And so there I was, just sitting there, literally just chilling, looking around at my beautiful snapshot world until I eventually rotated slowly 360 degrees and... Huh. Is that a 2? Perhaps a... Pre-release 2? How you doing, hotties? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're gonna dive into the brand new snapshot and take a look at some interesting leaks. Tap like before you forget and let's go. Well, 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 I never thought I would say it, but Minecraft 1.20.5 is updating the nether and the end, kind of, asterisk, big asterisk, kind of, in a way. To check out the first big change inside of this week's first snapshot, we're gonna need to make a nether portal and then jump into it. Now, this one's gonna be really, really quick. It has to do with the loading screen, but check this out. When I go into the nether and it loads right there, aha, uh -huh, when I go into the nether and it loads, oh, it's beautiful. Now, I bet you can't guess what happens when we jump into the nether portal and go back to the overworld. Oh, yes, that's right. The same thing. In case your memory has lapsed you previously, it would have been that old dirt background screen. You know, the one that we would have seen when we went into the menu, paused the game right here, and yeah, there was dirt everywhere before the blur. Speaking of that beautiful blur coming to the game soon, the toggle, now when you go all the way down to zero, instead of saying zero, it just says off. Well, that is, that should be how it works because you have a zero and off right now, which uh, seemingly do the exact same thing. So we've got that beautiful, hazy, purple nether portal loading screen. Now, how about into the end? Oh, just you take a seat because the end one is even better. We go into the end and oh, we get the void pop up. I'll loop it back again. Yeah, that void screen right there, that is clean. Maybe even the cleanest menu screen in the entire game. One more time, just because I absolutely love that thing, that loading right there and the subtle animation. It's very brief, but yeah, the subtle animation, it looks so good. I would like to boost this tweet from KMB because this is a genius idea. In a bug that has been in the game since 2013, did you know the menu screen? Yeah, that beautiful one, I can't get enough of it. It used to say entering the nether or entering the end, depending on where you were going. And they should totally bring that back. So check out our second change of the day. First things first in Anvil. Second thing second, a chest with maybe the best name of all time, Garage. After that, we go ahead and place Garage down and then inside of Garage, my chest, it goes. Pick blocking has actually been updated inside of the snapshot. If I walk up to it, hold down control and middle click on this chest right there, I went ahead and copied it, but now it doesn't say plus NBT in the item like data. Go ahead and place it down, make sure it did duplicate and 100% it absolutely did, but yeah. But yeah, that purple pink NBT data tag, it's gone. To be honest, there's no lie about it. Powder Snow is one of the most despicable inventions of all time. It's so bad. If we go ahead and sand in Powder Snow, you know how it goes. You start freezing. It's not good. If I have a leather on, however, I won't actually freeze in the Powder Snow. And I can walk clean on top of it. Here's my dear friend Samuel with a saddle on him. If I go ahead and take my dear friend over to the Powder Snow, because it's not wearing any leather, eventually it definitely will end up freezing, just like the Wandering Trader. However, leather horse armor was meant to stop the horse from freezing ever, kind of just like leather armor does to you, and now it's going to actually work like that again. Interestingly, though, leather horse armor still lets the horse sink down into the Powder Snow. Side note, I always forget how hard leather horse armor actually looks, and side note, side note, maybe I like Powder Snow after all. A handful of snapshots ago, advancements were added to Minecraft 1.20.5. It's pretty cool that such a small update is actually getting advancements. Inside of this update, a couple changes to the advancements. First things first, we have armor on the dog, and I use shears on it. The advancement is now sheer brilliance instead of snippet. And then in the world of like small other changes, some of the advancements, their like capitalization has been fixed. Here are some of my sweet, beautiful, the brand's new dogs. Check out what happens to the dogs when rain sets in. You can see that their coat, it gets like a little bit darker, and that's because it's raining and they're all wet. This is a small visual thing that's been in Minecraft practically since the beginning of time. It's kind of always worked like this. If I go ahead and set the weather back to clear, the dog will eventually go ahead and shake off and brighten its coat again. Previously, the coat was getting like really, really dark. Now the coat isn't going to get as dark when it's wet, and it seems to more gradually dim as well. The same with when the dog is shaking off and getting a little bit more dry, it'll shake and do it like seemingly a little bit more smooth. In fact, for my testing, depending on the new type of dog you're using, you almost can't even notice it. 
Now with our second pre-release out of however many 1.20.5 is going to get already here, this brings the question of when do the dogs actually end up releasing? Now I don't want to talk about this one too much. I explained my rationale a little bit more in this video, so maybe check that one out next. But at least as of the time of recording this video on Monday after this pre-release release, it doesn't look like the update will be coming out on Bedrock this week, which makes me think next one. To be honest, with so many big features, armadillos, new dogs, armor, all of it, I'll be pretty surprised if 1.20.80 and 1.20.5 release on separate days. At this point, depending on how this week goes with pre-releases, my guess is next week on Tuesday. The technical saga of Minecraft 1.20.5, it continues. The data pack version has been updated, and we have a little bit more technical capabilities and adjustments going on inside of this update. Now, if you're out of the loop when it comes to 1.20.5 technical side and you're, say, a data pack developer, oh boy, you better get in the loop or something because a lot of big changes are happening inside of this update, which is going to completely flip how a lot of technical stuff is done. Depending on how your dear data pack was made, you might have quite a bit of updating to do next week whenever this update drops. 47 bug fixes in 1.20.5 pre-release 2. Oh my gosh, they are making this game more polished than ever before. And now a lot of these bug fixes have to do with more technical stuff like NBD data, a little bit of pick blocking stuff, kind of relating to the change we talked about, some attribute adjustment bug fixes, actually quite a few, and then just in general, a handful of other bug fixes. Now all bug fixes are nice, but all bug fixes are not equal. I kind of already went over some of the most interesting ones here but go ahead and pause and read if you want to right now when, we, when it comes to those juicy new paintings in the last week's bedrock preview they are still not over here on minecraft java quite yet and i don't think they're going to be over on java until the official 1.21 snapshots to be honest but if you want to see them and how they'll look identically go check out this video after this one now next up i'd like to switch the lens up a little bit from minecraft snapshot over to minecraft 15th birthday Looking back five years ago now, I kind of can't believe that it's already been five years, but for the 10th anniversary of the game, for that big one zero, Mojang did quite a few big celebrations, including making cakes have a 10 candle on them. It was pretty cool. Another one that they did that I completely forgot about until making this video right here was that really cool map for 10 years with like a bunch of Easter eggs. With so many amazing things happening for 10 years, it was only inevitable that for 15 years, they would have to maybe up the bar a little bit and oh boy, it looks like they might have done it. Hey, nah, this is Editals coming back in here for a legal notice. Let's just say this next portion is parody as to what Minecraft might do for 15 years. If you don't want to know, leave the video right now, and technically, they've said nothing yet. Our dear and near friend Smokey Stack. New assets in the latest Minecraft preview. They're all named placeholders, so be warned, they might be gone soon. Now, these images themselves, they're really crisp and clean, but they are also super low res. It almost seems like these images will be maybe like very small in game and every image has a common theme of shaders. So maybe shaders are getting closer to at least some kind of like further implementation in the game. I don't think they're quite ready for a release, but very interesting. Even more interestingly, in the latest Minecraft preview, they updated the credits file. Something caught my eye was this. Very interesting. They would update this in Bedrock, but the website hasn't been updated. And then this bit, a title, Engineering Director, Internal New Games. Internal new games, you say? That's interesting, because right now, the only game that we have when it comes to Minecraft is, well, like, proper, normal Minecraft. Bedrock, Java, it's all the same. Normal Minecraft. Dungeons, Legends, Minecraft Earth, Story Mode, and who knows what else? They don't technically, like get updates anymore they're they're not a thing to be honest this would make perfect sense that about now is the time that minecraft is getting ready to announce some sort of new game no clue what it is but maybe there's a new game if i had to make an educated guess i would guess that the 15th anniversary is next month if they're actually making a new game i feel like the official debut the announcement of it would come somewhere around that anniversary that'd be pretty hype the world of minecraft by mojang ab part of minecraft blah, 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 blah. what in the world is this well from the looks of where you'll be able to pick this thing up and just other context clues such as this thing appearing to look like a book this appears to be a new book
about the world of Minecraft to uncover the history of the most influential game of all time. Explore how the game evolved from one person all the way to the globe. The world of Minecraft is a definitive account of the game's history. The stories of a big mods, the growth of a big servers, YouTubers as well, and like developer insights, including hopefully some brand new never seen in concept art too. At the least though, unseen archive materials. Oh, that's so weird. Now, tragically, we have to wait all the way until September 3rd to be able to experience this one. I saw news about this book start to pop up this past weekend over on Twitter when significant members of the community like Potato Man and KMB started to talk about it. Now, last but not least today, we're over to Moi, a leaker. Slowly but surely, while I commentate over this next bit, you're gonna see the stunning Gaussian blur slowly go away. Eventually, that blur will slowly creep back in, but oh wow, that is maybe the best thing today. Keep in mind, none of this is officially announced, but it definitely looks like Minecraft's 15th birthday is going to be great. Take into account where 1.21 is currently in development, and I almost wonder if we're going to see an early update this year. Anyways, if you enjoyed, tap that subscribe button. If you really enjoyed, consider becoming a channel member today for some cool other benefits. Tap join for more info. On the end card is another video I think you like, and a playlist relating to Minecraft 1.21. You check it out. Until tomorrow, stay cool. I'll see you then. Goodbye, everyone.